Hi everybody, Chloe Thompson here, onboarding and recruiting specialist with SNS Services, and today I am going to give you a tutorial on how to request your PTO or your floating holiday off. So first of all, we're going to go to paylocity.com. So let's type that into the search engine. And once we're there, it should take us to this page where we're going to look for the login option. That should be to the top right hand side. Once we've clicked login, we're taken to this page and we're gonna have to enter our credentials. So for all of SNS services, the company ID is 46043. Your username should be your first initial last name if you did not change this when you onboarded with us. So your first initial last name, all lowercase, no spaces. And then your password is a unique set of numbers and letters that you created when you onboarded with us. If you forgot your password, do email me and I will get that uh, changed for you and recovered. So now we're going to click login and it should automatically direct us to our home page, which is called the self service portal. So once we're on the home page, we're going to look in the center of the page for the time off box. So I see mine right here, and we're going to notice that we've got our floating holiday hours available and our PTO hours available. Remember that PTO is on an accrual basis. You are allowed to carry 40 hours from year to year. Anything over 40 hours by December 31st, you're going to lose if you haven't used it already. And then for the floating holiday, you will get a new one every year but you cannot save these up. So if you have your eight hours by December 31st and you haven't used it, you're most likely going to lose that. So you're going to want to use your eight hours within the year. Now to request floating holiday or the PTO off, we're going to go ahead and look for the little icon that says more to the bottom right of the time off box. Once we click it, we're going to notice the option that says submit time off request and we're going to click it. Once we do so, that should redirect us to the time and labor page where we're only going to pay attention to the time off box. So as you can see here, we're on request and we can select the type of request we are wanting to choose. So we've got PTO, floating holiday, jury duty, bereavement, and unpaid time off. For these three options right here, you should be able to find how to use these in the employee handbook uh, that was explained to you uh, during your first month of hire with us. Um, if you forgot how to use these, uh, please do contact us and we will remind you. But let's go ahead and submit a PTO request. So we're going to click the PTO option and you're either going to choose a single day or multiple day. Now I'm going to make sure that my start date is the correct start time and end time. Uh, for single day, we're only going to do the start time. So I want to take off, let's say tomorrow, the 20th. And then I want to take off a full day. So typical hours for me are 8 to 5. So I'm going to look for 5 p.m. Once I find that, I'm going to notice that it automatically adjusts the hours per day. However, I don't typically work a nine hour day. I only work eight hours because I do get an hour off for lunch. So I'm going to adjust that to note eight. And then I am going to write a note in the, the section, this section. Um, let's go ahead and uh, say, go in to visit dad. Um, so I'm going to submit that request right now. Um, and the notes section just lets uh, your supervisor know what's going on, why you're submitting the time off request. And once you click the orange submit request button, it will automatically go to your supervisor. They're going to get an email in their inbox that you have submitted a time off request. And you're going to know it's successful when you see this little right hand column or option say success. So in the time off box, you'll also notice that you can click over to status. And this is going to show the hours that you requested off. So right here, you can see the time off request that I just submitted for eight hours. It is pending right now. My supervisor has not approved it yet. Once they do approve it, you are going to get an email back stating that uh, your supervisor has approved that. So you can go ahead and take it off. You're also going to notice balances up here that you can highlight in blue. 
And this is uh, like the home page time off box. You will additionally be able to see your balances for your PTO, your floating holiday, uh, et cetera, in this section. Now, for floating holiday, uh, one little note about the floating holiday, you do not have to take the full out, uh, eight hours off all at once. So if you're a newer employee and haven't accrued um, PTO yet, you can go ahead and submit maybe three hours of uh, the floating holiday off because you have a doctor's appointment coming up um, or something like that. So you can use the floating holiday in chunks or in sections, if you will, and you don't have to use it all at once just before the end of the year. So thanks for joining me, guys. If you have any more questions, please do email me. My direct email is cthompson at csmgtgroup.com.